good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Make sure you stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats and all sorts of fun things. Today is going to be kind of like an organisation, goal setting, um, really, really fun section sponsored by Froob, so can't wait for you to see that. But the weather is absolutely beautiful in Birmingham today. And I've started to get my autumn clothes out and I've had to start getting me me summer frocks out again. In fact, I think there's supposed to be a bit of a heat wave this week. Um, but obviously the kids are back to school and got a confession, not a morning person. I can get up really early in the morning, but then the time just seems to go and I panic and I fret and it's just all like up in the air. So I wanna know, are you like that? I like to prepare for school the night before, so I thought I'd show you how I get stuff ready for the kids so it's nice and smooth. Maybe you've got kids starting um, and you want some tips. Maybe you've not got kids and you just like to watch mum organisation, because I love, I love mum organisation. Um, so the night before, and this is what I do every single night, I get out the school clothes for the kids and I get it organised so they know what they're doing. So let me show you. I lay out every piece of uniform, including the underwear. Um, we usually have the tie here as well. And the school bag is kept at like a specific place. And the coat is hung on the back of the door so they can grab their coat as well if they need it. But everything is laid out because otherwise, what will happen is you will get a, mommy, I can't find the tie. Mommy, have you seen my trousers? Mommy, have you got a headband? Everything. It's a nightmare, but I am actually going to take the lunchbox downstairs. I'll show you my girls. Do the same for her. I also lay out bobbles. There's a headband, um, her little plastic earrings, because you're not allowed to have like normal earrings. It's all laid out. It's all ready. But I am going to take the lunchbox down. And loads of you loved the idea of a washable lunchbox. I bought the lunchboxes down. As I mentioned before, these can go in the wash, which is brilliant. So at the end of every day, really helps me it really does it's so simple i get home i clear them out sort the water bottles clear out like the tupperware stuff and then i get them ready and i pack them for the next day um most of the stuff i pack i don't pack the sandwiches so stephen pops the sandwich in because he makes his sandwich in the morning and he adds his extra ones and then to the night before i pop in whatever they need to go like a juice um, if it's a piece of fruit that doesn't need to go in the fridge. Also, some snacks, and that's where we're here to talk about fruits. Fruits have been in our family for a decade, nearly. I cannot begin to express to you how many fruits my children have had. It is a great source of calcium and vitamin D. They are perfect to also pop in the freezer. Have you ever done that? Let me know if you've ever done that. Pop it in the freezer. It's like a little ice lolly. It's absolutely... I was just saying you can pop these in the freezer and you have yeah. them as an ice lolly. And they are really, really fab. They can um, remain fresh for eight hours out the fridge. So they're perfect for lunch boxes. And also there's no added preservatives or artificial sweeteners or anything like that. And they're suitable for vegetarians as well. We're going to do a challenge. <laughs> you think you know the flavours of a fruit because I... you've had approximately 3,000 of them. Yeah, I know them. But I think I know the flavours of them. No. So we're going to have a, a taste test to see who knows the flavours of the fruits. Mummy v... Ezzy. Ezzy. Do we stop calling me mummy when we go to secondary school next year? Will it still be mummy or will it be mom? Probably mum in front of people and mummy in re in home. <laughs> mum in front of people and then mummy in private? Yeah. I'm not sure I like that. Well. That's just the way I've got to roll with it. <laughs> right, let's do this challenge. I'm going to win. No, you're not. Yeah. I'm She's taking this so seriously. I was like, should we just do it stand up? She's like, no, you need to sit down. She's got a whiteboard. She's brought down the tripod and she's also getting like an official mask. She's She's the most competitive child. I, however, I'm not that competitive. Um, so let's see who wins. She's made a scoreboard. She's been I'm going to very win. strict. So um, I'm going to try and guess the taste of the fruit and see who knows. Are you? The, I mean, you have had a million. Let's see. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go first. So I'm going to taste the fruit, and it's what flavour is it? There's peach, red berry, and strawberry. Peach, red berry, and strawberry. Yes. Peach, red berry, and peach, red berry. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. 
Let me go cut them. This seems really tight. Have I got some massive head? This seems really tight on my head. Strawberry. Strawberry, strawberry. Strawberry, sure. This thing is so tight on my head. You got here going with me. Okay? It's gotta be Paige. <laughs> oh my god, she's a baby on hand me. Like, oh, what do you think that one is? You're making me question me strawberry. Well, I'm gonna say that that was red berry. I'm gonna say it went strawberry, peach, which you got on my face, and red berry. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I stand by my decision. Three out of three. Yes! <laughs> we are the champions, my friends. But, but boom, boom. I could still get three. You could still get three, which would mean we were both champions together. <sighs> right. <maker>. Swap. <laughs> Open my. Go. Strawberry? Strawberry, maybe. Couldn't confirm. This one is. This one is. <laughs> Red berry. Could be. This one is. Let me turn this on the all. No. <laughs> that one's red berry. And what was the other one then? Peach. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm messing with a mind and I'm loving it. So strawberry. Hang on, there's another one. Another one. <laughs> no. <laughs> another one. What is it? Move your hands. <laughs> that one. No, it goes strawberry, <laughs> strawberry, red berry, and peach. No, You're right. <laughs> Curse. See what the final scores are. What's the final? What were you there for then? Three, four. four. No, it wasn't four feet. Three feet. It doesn't count because I didn't. So there we go, we both seem to, even, even when I tricked you, you knew your Froobs. Yeah. We all know our Froobs, thanks so much to Froob for sponsoring this part yeah. of the vlog. Check out a link in the description, and it is really the perfect little um, healthy snack for you to go on a day out, to pop in lunch boxes as we do. Don't forget you can freeze them, full of calcium and vitamin D, super vegetarians, they're ace. Right, we are gonna carry on with our, our lovely day. Yeah. The boys have decided to update the PlayStation 4. How many hours? Uh, it said it was 99 plus hours. Says it's going to take 99 plus hours to um, sort itself. So, well, me and Erin haven't got time for that, so we're going to go. We've see, heard there's a. Um, they're playing football out there. We've heard there's a sunflower farm open this weekend, so we're going to go and have a look at that. Uh, <laughs> Now. Oh, it's already updated. What? Well, 99 hours is quick. Yeah. So they're going to play on the PlayStation. And also, Stephen's got a leaf blower. So later on, I might show you me using a leaf blower because I've never used it and I'm thrilled. So, right, Erin, you get your shoes on? Yeah. Teeth are cleaned? Yeah. Let's go to see some beautiful sunflowers. Um, can't wait. Oh, we're so excited. We've come to Beckett's farm. Yeah. Can you see? I don't know if you see all the yellow. It's so pretty. And they've got like. Um, wildflowers as well oh it's lovely and it's free i wonder if they do pumpkins i'll leave a link for the farm below um this is beautiful oh my god i love stuff like this i wonder if they do pumpkins in the autumn maybe we'll have to look it's free entry um you just give a donation online which i'll do when i get back um but here's some of the wildflowers look how pretty look at this can you? I can't hear bugs. I can hear. I can hear birds. I think you're grasshoppers. Worried <laughs> because we've done lavender fields before, haven't we? Yes, yeah. and they're all full of <laughs> wasps. <laughs> so we're not. We're hoping for that not to be the case. We've just said we feel like we're on holiday, and we're 25 minutes from our house. <laughs> Aren't we? Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I love the boys. But it's nice that they're not here. Yeah, because they'd be moaning, there. wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah. Too far. Yeah. So we're having a nice non-moaning day. Yeah. I wonder how far you can walk into them. Oh, I don't know. I'm a bit little. Let's walk a bit more over there. This bit seems a little bit less busy, doesn't it? I love goats. What? Oh my god, there's baby goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Right. Let's go and have a little look-see. Oh my god, we're obsessed. 
We've just done like a full photo shoot. <laughs> Look at it. <gasps> oh, I don't think I've ever seen anything. Like the lavender fields we've been to before in the past low, though. have been nice, but this is just beautiful. Let me take you right in the depths of the sunflowers. It's beautiful. It feels like you're in like a, yeah. Are you gonna go right in there? Maybe. There's a lot of wasps on these sunflowers, dudes. Um, but you like feel like look we're just in the midst look at this <gasps> so yeah fair, beckett's farm i don't know if this is the last weekend um so check it out uh and also maybe they do pumpkins i hope they do pumpkins because i will definitely be back let me show you the bumblebee there's so many bees and look bumblebees no if you really if you just everybody just look there's so, can you see there's so many bees and wasps and look i know look at that I oh, like look. <laughs> Everybody's like, I don't like it. Yeah, but they're not interested in us, man. They're just like, we want this pollen. juicy pollen. So beautiful. Right, I'm going to stop now because otherwise this will be a 45 minute vlog of me just looking at sunflowers. But I live in the city and this is just like 25 minutes from the city. How amazing is that? Oh, we're feeding the goats. Oh, look. I'll give it to the little one as well. No, not you. Oh, no, just give it to that one. You'll get some. Oh, so cute. Oh, they're so lovely. I'd love a goat. Not in our little garden, could you imagine? So cute. The little goat. We've come back from the sunflower farm and we have a visitor. Hello. It's Lucy's best friend. It is Ruby! This is um, Stephen's younger sister. <laughs> How old is she? I think she's just over one. She's just... <laughs> oh, God! Oh, she's got something in her mouth. She's got my squishy in her She's got a squishy. I, I, she's just literally running in circles. We are babysitting Ruby for um, a night. A night. It's going to be interesting. She's going to be no, Daddy. No, no, no. <laughs> This is the first time we've had her for the night, so it's going to be uh, fun and by fun. I can't keep doing this. It's going to send everybody bonkers. It's going to be very dramatic. <laughs> we took the Lucy outside now. It's mayhem. The two of them just running around. Well, no, Lucy's not really running around. Lucy's just like... My friends here, what's going on? Um, so we talked about school uniform, we talked about lunch boxes. Another little tip I thought is quite good um, is get in the house. Have in the house like a box full of stuff like plasters, have cowpole, have um, knit lotion, have anything like that, even like Veruca stuff. Have all the kind of kiddie stuff that you need at home because in the first term of kids being at school, there's generally some sort of cold. Uh, they'll fall over and graze their knee. Anything like that is perfect to keep at home. And also, another one that's really like a weird one. Have some pan coins because they do an awful lot of fancy dress days. And another thing is you sometimes you'll get like a diary of like events that are happening <clears throat> throughout the year. I would either cut it out and stick it in your planner uh, or diary or I have an online diary so I type the dates in because they might have a random teacher training day or you want to book a holiday and you need to know when the holidays are so that's also another good tip. Um, let me know if you have any tips for back to school or school organisation or anything below and let me know if you want me to do any like morning routines, after school routines, any routines I'll be happy to do them. Um, but what is gonna be coming up soon is gonna be like an autumn house tour. And I did buy one thing uh, that I thought I'd quite like to show you. I popped to home bargains and I picked up this little beauty. Stephen's making some food. So by now you will have seen the Poundland video and I might do a home bargains um, come shop with me video. I'm not sure yet, but I got this yesterday because I thought if I didn't get it then, I didn't have my camera on me, it might have gone. But this was 3 99 in Harborn. You fill it up with sweets. 
Um, I'm going to get the house all sorted in the next few days and I'm going to film like a full like Halloween like we've got the mugs and all that like on the other. I'm going to film like a full fall autumn Halloween video but that I just wanted to highlight. Um, $3.99 home bargains, really pretty, actual glass, love it. I'm super excited because our bedside tables have arrived and part of my kind of goal setting for September is to get my bedroom done. These are from Aldi actually, we haven't made them up yet, they're rattan bedside tables. I've also ordered a dressing table that's similar. Um, if Stephen makes them up soon, we were gonna, I don't know if we should make, I don't know, maybe we should get them out sooner rather than later Stephen in case they're not right. So I've got one for either side and then also a dressing table that is coming along that matches. And I'm super excited to say, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen my goals for September. And one of them was to order the PAX IKEA system for the bedroom. And I am excited to say, I have indeed ordered it. There's a couple of bits that are missing, but I have indeed ordered the PAX system is it gonna come anytime soon? No, <laughs> no, it's not. It's going to be November. Cause it seems to be, perhaps cause people are staying at home there. Um, maybe there's a bit of a backlog of stuff. I don't know. So, but we've ordered the pack. So we're gonna have a pack that goes all along here. Ordered. I've got two new dressing tables downstairs from Aldi. I've got a, um, no, one dressing table two side thingies, professional term. Uh, Steve and I are gonna go and order a carpet on his lunch break one day, hopefully this week. And then we're thinking about painting it. I'm also thinking, you know when people paint it and they do those like, I haven't, I haven't told Stephen this. This might not happen. But you know when people paint it and they have that like oval, really trendy stuff. I'm thinking that, but it's going to be kind of like a boho theme. So with the rat on furniture. Oh, I've ordered a new bed. I've ordered a new bed as well. That's come in. It's not got drawers underneath. Where am I going to put four drawers worth of stuff? I don't know. That's a problem for another day. Let's not worry about it. But a new bed's coming as well. That's like got like a metal frame. So it's going to be much lighter in here, much brighter. It's going to be much more like, it's going to be like boho. This carpet is going. So I'm really looking forward to that. So that was on my goal. So I mentioned on my Instagram, um, it's such a mess in here. I mentioned my Instagram, September is like my new year. So some of my goals is one, order the pack system, start to get the bedroom done. Also, I want to do three long walks a week. Debate and starting the Couch 5K again. Let me know if you want me to bring you on that journey. I did do it. When did I run a, where was I when I ran? Was it last summer? It must have been the year before, didn't I? Because I ran in Disney and I ran, I finished it on like a seaside place. I can't remember where. Let me know if you want me to do that again. Other goals, I want to use my slow cooker. Got my slow cooker for Christmas. Never been used. Every couple of weeks, I just brush the dust off it. Brush, brush, brush. Any slow cooker recipes, recommendations, anything, let me know in the comments. Um, I watch Jay Morrell, who does a lot of that kind of cooking. Um, so I'm sure I'll be able to pick up something from her. She's a brilliant, I've mentioned her loads of time on this channel. She's got a large family. She's just had a baby. Um, she's 40 plus and love all her stuff. That was also one of my um, goals. So the slow cooker walks, sort the bedroom out. What was the other stuff? It's all on my phone actually. Um, the walking was really important. I didn't put down, I wanna, I'm trying to do new skincare. So I've got a new skincare routine, which I have been doing from the beginning of September. But I have come out with a couple of spots, and is that normal, guys? When you do new skincare, do you get a few spots at the beginning when your skin's all changing? Unsure. So let me know if you see September as like your new year. Have you any goals for your family? Any goals for yourself? 
anything that you're hoping to take forward into like the autumn. Stephen and I have decided we're gonna kind of, um, every night we sit there and we just scroll. We're scrolling Netflix for an hour before we find anything. So we st we've watched, started to watch The Hunger Games from the beginning again. Why not? It's gonna take us a few weeks. And then we're gonna start watching some horror films. I think in October we'll do a horror film a day. So let me know if you want me to talk about that. So there we go, guys. A bit of a, a mismatch hodgepodge today. We did challenges. You saw a very, very, very energetic puppy. We did a little bit of getting ready organisational tips for school. We did goals. And I went to like the best sunflower place in the history of the universe. So excited. Just we FaceTime Steve from there and we're like, look what you were missing, because this place is phenomenal. So there you go. I'm actually, didn't think I'd ever say this, in September, I'm going to put my bikini on and get in the garden. I know the people who live in hot countries are going to laugh. It's about 23. <laughs> but for England in September, oh, if you want a scorcher. Right, love you lots. I'll see you in another few days for an upload and I will see you soon.